Hello and welcome to Hegarty Maths, our new program that is replacing Maths Watch uh, due to its suspension. Um, I'm delighted to announce and welcome this to all of you. So the reason why we've gone for this is because it's going to empower you to become an amazing independent learner in maths. So before I start, there are three things that will help you thrive in maths. Number one is you have to have a positive mindset and belief. You need to believe you can improve and can succeed in maths. You definitely can do better than you thought possible, so start believing that today. You have to work incredibly hard. So when you work hard, follow your teacher's guidance, you will improve quickly. You have to always concentrate and listen carefully. Write your maths down with care. How many times does a teacher say, copy down the examples? You know, we, we say it for a reason. And number three, you do need support. You need the best support and the best teaching in class, that is a teacher who explains the maths well, models you good examples, and inspires you. And this is a little equation that I've got, that belief and hard work and support will help you be successful in maths. So what does a homework or what does a task on Hegarty Maths look like? And I'm going to show you a live run through in a moment. But just off the face of it, you will have a video and um, there'll be a percentage of the video watched and and that's where a teacher, Mr. Hegarty, will actually explain everything you need to know about that topic and go through all the examples that will be in the quiz. So with that quiz, this will allow you to practice all the examples in the video for yourself and know whether you understood what was in the video. So this is what we want to do. When you watch the video, we want you to take notes of all the modelled examples. So we want you to always produce a set of well-written notes of all the modelled examples in the video as you want you to be an expert note taker and to revise before you try the quiz. If you know the material, you still have to take the notes as sometimes you have to revise topics you already know. And it is good for your long term maths memory. So here is a set of notes. There are five examples in this video. There's five examples this student has written down of notes and will help this student do the quiz properly. So when you come to doing the quiz, OK, if you can, show your workings, use the notes you've taken and not just watch the video for, for video's sake. Watch it. It's there to help you. Time and effort's been put in. So if you could do the question in your head, still show your workings. It's part of being a great mathematician and it helps you. For at the end of the day with your GCC exams, you need to show your workings. So when you do this, write down the question, always show your workings. And then always mark when you've checked it on online, mark what you've done in, in your book and, and self-correct. If you're not sure, self-correct, because I'll show you in a moment how when you maybe get a question wrong, you have another chance to do it. So you may want to pause the video at this point, but here is a student checklist for a great weekly homework. You know, in math, we are going to be sending you this weekly. Um, and this is what would, you know, which would be really good for you guys to do. So always write the date always watching the full video, full notes, copy questions, pencil and ruler for diamond, marking your work, etc, etc. So feel free to pause and I'm going to uh, take a screenshot of this. But equally, we appreciate with the best teacher we've got at HTC and using this program, you still may get stuck. So here's what to do if you are stuck. Well, one, watch the video again but really carefully, ensuring all examples are copied and see if hearing and writing it down a second time helps. You'll also notice when you do this in a bit, they have got building blocks and have a little look at those. Um, and these are lessons that will help you with your current homework. So if these are not at 100% or less than the Hegarty Mass Average, and that's for you, then you should perhaps redo those just to make sure um, you can you can do that area of a sector two that we've got there. So in the picture, this student will struggle with homework number five four seven, as they've only done ten percent of lesson five four six, and it's worth having a look at those later on. Equally, when you watch the video, this pops up. Doesn't matter what question you're on, the exact same example will be there. As you can see, the only thing that's different is the numbers. So when you're taking down the notes, you won't have to, in theory, watch the video again because your notes will look like the questions you're going to see. OK, so the only thing I can notice that are different there, the numbers are different and give your answer to one decimal place 
give you answer to rounded three significant figures. You know, but the method and the same look of the question is exactly the same. And that's one thing that we've really uh, invested our, our sort of positiveness in this that Maths Watch perhaps doesn't give. So why do I always have to watch the video? Well, number one, it ensures you will be successful. Number two, your memory. Copying down modern examples helps you remember your maths. Teach say it in, in the lesson, so why not do it for your homework as well? Method marks. So when you copy down, you can see where the method marks are going to come from for future exams and assessments. It is good revision. It gets you into that habit. So when you're doing homework, you are actually revising. Um, and when you're revising, you sometimes have to look over material you already know. But that is good for you. And your teacher think it's important. So each week, your teacher will have a little look at a book to see if you're practicing how to write your maths down, as this is just as important as attempting some questions. What happens when students decide not to watch the video? Well, one, they get stuck and frustrated. How many times have you watched the maths video, gone on to the questions, and gone, oh, I'm just stuck, and you get so frustrated with yourself because you just want to get the quiz, you want to get it done, and things like that. And believe it or not, you will actually sort of stay at the same level. You, you won't progress as much as you can do um, by watching the video. So what happens when students use Hegarty Maths properly? Well, they start enjoying maths and understand more in lessons. But number two, students like doing the homework. I know that seems perhaps really lame or boring, but because that feeling of success comes, that does pride us with joy. And students will do well in their exams. That is a given. Um, and I've got some quotes here from the these are from schools that have used Hegarty Maths before, um, which I'm going to sort of skip through, but feel free to pause at each one. So this student spent 89 hours on quizzes, 14 hours on videos, and 10 hours doing Fix Up 5, which we'll show you later on in the year. She completed all the lessons on the site 100% and got a grade 9, yet she was predicted a 5. So let me show you how Hegarty Maths now works. So hopefully you can see HegartyMaths.com, and that's just the website, HegartyMaths.com, and a student login. When you log in as a student, you will need to, when you begin, type in that you're at Horndean Technology College. Okay, and you just fill in the details here. So your first name, your surname and then your date of birth. And we're gonna find out how old Mr. Welch is. And when you log in for the first time, it will say create a password. So you will have a unique password which you can create yourselves. So when you log in, this is what it looks like straight away. Okay, and for me, this is as a fresh start, okay. You will see instantly, I've got the hours that I've spent doing the skills, doing memory, that will come later in the year, fix up files later in the year. How many hours of learning have I done? Questions answered and things like this. And there's a little donut here. How many have I not done? I've not done 925 skills. Okay. Um, up here, you can choose a lesson if you want. So let's say you're doing um, uh, solving equations. So you can go choose lesson, find it in algebra, going through linear equations, you've got forming, solving equations using inverse operations. And you can click on that and use that. Okay. There is also a revise function up at the top here where there's fix up five and memory. And this will be explained later on the year because this uses the data that you've done and put on before to help independently give you assigned tasks that you can't do. But here I've got a task, so let me show you. And when you let me show you how this works. So when you're set a task or a homework, it will appear here, um, and it will obviously be bold and red, so you've got that to do. So when I click on that, it comes up. So I've been given uh, Mr. Elliot set me um, a lesson on triangles. This is my homework. I'm going to just click start task. And I'm just going to, I'm wondering why that's not quite working. Okay, there we go. Sorry that I had to reload. But anyway, so what I would be doing is I'll be playing this video. Okay, and throughout this video, 
Uh, Mr. Hegarty is going to be telling me how to be doing things. Okay, I don't know if you can hear it, but it is is currently playing. Okay, um, I'm just, just going to quickly go through this. So you would be watching this and taking down the examples as much as possible. Okay, and once you've then done that, once you've got to the end, okay, you you know you can pause, but you can also see building blocks. So to be able to answer this homework that Mr. Elliot set me, I need to make sure I can do these. Okay, now obviously for this video tutorial, I haven't done these, um, but you may need to do those in the future. Now let's go on to actually doing a quiz. Okay, so um, I'd click do quiz. And instantly I can see there are 10 questions. And when your teachers set you this, okay, there will be just the questions all up at the top. Again, similar to MathWatch. Okay, so what I'd do is use use my working, work out the area of that triangle, okay, so for area of triangle, I know it's half times the base times the height, so I'll be doing base times height, so 10 times 24, all right, then dividing by 2, and it's 120, okay, it has given me the units there, which is quite generous, I quite like that, just click on check, and correct, and it comes up with a fancy noise as well, but I could also leave a comment if I wish, but obviously if you've got things right, you shouldn't need to leave a comment, and I just go on to next question, Okay, work out the area of this triangle. So often students might go, well, I've got 28 times 17. So 28 times 17, that's 476. Divide that by 2. I think the answer is 238. Okay, press check. Oh, I've got that wrong. So Hegarty Math you might have typed the wrong answer. Check your answer is sensible in the for, in required form. So I've checked it and I'm unsure. So I might go back to my notes at this point, but equally, let's click on get help because I can use the video here. When I click on get help, it Sorry, notice it's automatically gone to the point of the video, which is where this question is. So I can go through and do this. Okay. And oh, I'm on, I've skipped too far onto the next question. But you can have a look at that example again and think, oh, actually, for here, the height is actually 15, so I need to do 28 times by 15, then divide that by 2, and that gives me 210. There we go, correct, well done. Okay, and I might, if I wanted to, leave a comment when I did the wrong answer. Okay, um, and that is pretty much it for how you use it. Okay, we want to, you should be seeing a task soon, I've just clicked off of that. Um, but what you can also do, there'll be notifications that come up here, which might be from your teachers when they leave a comment. Um, you can also see student help and resources. Um, and there is also um, a my scores bit, which when you've done things, comes up in it. And it ranges it, number, algebra, things like that. So it's got all your scores from everything you've done. Whereas MathsWatch, it was just in one long list. Okay. Equally, if you're... Um, sort of at home and you're thinking, you know what, we've got, we're doing circle theorems, for example, I can just use the search function up at the top um, and just, I'm just going to click on one. And instantly it comes up with the questions. Now that this hasn't been set to me um, by my teacher, but automatically comes up, do quiz. Okay, and I can have a go at that. So I'm going to pause the video there. Okay. If you've got any questions, please email your teachers um, at, or email me, uh, Mr. Welch. Um, but we hope that we're going to set you some tasks soon and for you to get started using this program. And we hope you enjoy it. We think it's vastly different from MathWatch and we think it's better. But that is for you guys' side. So please embrace this. Please use it to its full potential. And I can't stress enough. Write down the questions. Use, use the examples that are in, in the videos to help you succeed in maths.